The government has ordered the closure of 15 schools set up in areas targeted in the second phase of evictions in the Mao Forest. Now, the Rift Valley Regional Commissioner George Natembea says the schools are not registered with the Ministry of Education. And as our very own Stephen Leto reports, Natembea says no one will be spared in the phase two of the evictions. They appear well-constructed schools where millions have been pumped. The government says these schools in the Mao Forest are illegal and have been closed forthwith. Uh, we don't want to play to play monkey games with, with the life of our children. We have closed it. Uh, we have closed all those schools. Uh, number two, and we are not going to allow anybody to take. Uh, the children to those schools. Even as the government kickstarts the second round of Mao evictions, an education crisis looms in the forest with over 4,000 pupils affected as government closes the schools. Affected schools include Kirobon Primary with 451 pupils, Senetuet Primary with 164 pupils, Kapsilibo Primary listing 396 pupils, Kitoben Primary with a majority 646 pupils and Indianit Primary housing 322 pupils. Others are Kabarak, Nosagami, Chororwet, Ogilge, Sebetet, Olapa, Koitabai, Chebirbelek, Chebetet and Lelechuet primary schools. All these learning centers say to be secretly operating inside the forest while benefiting illegally from funds channeled to other schools outside the Mao forest. All these are just centers that are not registered. They're on forest land, they're not registered, they've got no TSC teacher, they don't benefit from free primary education. Yeah, that basically centers where young girls and boys go there to waste their life. The sixth day operation targets 17,101 hectares in the forest. Areas that will be affected include Kamwengoi, Sierra Leone, and Kipchoge. All this ecosystem is critical. This is just like the other in terms of water for those two rivers. So if you cut the udder of a cow, you don't expect milk. People are going to make a lot of noise as, 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 as usual. We can choose to listen to that noise and then face the consequences in another five years. According to government, there are 712 irregularly acquired titles, 4,531 parcels with unauthenticated sale agreements, and 2,746 parcels without documentation. Some leaders from the Rift Valley have called on the government to hold the exercise. Before the first phase of evictions, this particular section of the Incoben section had human settlement. But after the government kicked off people from this particular area, the government has come back and rehabilitated this area by planting trees. It says now it is ready to kickstart the second phase of evictions, targeting 10,000 households and even more to ensure that it ring fences the Mao forest and ensure that it safeguards the water tower. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Mao Forest.